Okay, it's uh, December 22nd, at least that's what the clock says, and uh, this is the GNU's uh, special, well, I think I'm a little bit out of focus edition, but you know, camera's dying, so life is tough here. Uh, top story in the news is, uh, you know, a group of internationally respected scientists have uh, concluded that uh, the Amazing Atheist is uh, big, uh, fat, and smelly, and um, they... Uh, have decided that um, you know they've written a report uh, verifying you know that he's not a nice guy, and uh, they uh, wish him you know not nice things for Christmas. Like maybe uh, like I hope uh, maybe he gets a piece of coal in his stocking, and uh, you know maybe he steps on something sticky in the kitchen, and, you know, and it gets stuck on his foot, and it feels all weird. So you know. You know, he's not a nice guy telling me I should go hang myself. That's just rude. Uh, but anyway, we'll march on. Moving forward, in the real news, um, yeah, that Gates guy, you know, the guy in charge of the whole nice Iraqi thing, uh, you know, he's very optimistic that we might be able to bring maybe one or two troops home. Uh, they're actually not dead troops, but living ones, <laughs> you know, in the next year. And, uh, but then again, you know, we might have to send them over to Afghanistan where I guess apparently, you know, things are getting a little messy over there now, so we have to do something. Um, which is sort of a related story is Pakistan, you know, it's 50 people killed there in a mosque. And, uh, kind of weird because, you know, there was a mosque at the interior minister's home. I mean, I didn't know, like, you had mosques in your home. I mean, that was one hell of a home if you got a mosque in it. And, uh, I don't know, you know, if I was going to have something in my home, I don't know if it's mosque, I mean, you know, maybe like swimming pool, harem kind of thing, but mosque, I don't know if I'd bother having one of them in my home. That, uh, it's kind of, you know, kind of a downer. Uh, but anyway, uh, you know, it's really a downer when you go there and get blowed up. Um, so, you know, you got to have to do something about that, I suppose. Eventually, Pakistan's going to fall to pieces, you know. Uh, it, it seems inevitable. Uh, but anyway, moving on to the next relevant news story. Uh, foreign advisors, yeah, so the uh, Obama and Hillary, you know, they're the ones competing, you know, for the top spot there for the Democrats. Um, so now they're like arguing about who has the most foreign policy advisors that support them. So, I mean, getting this straight is, is they're, they're competing over how many people who have given advice about foreign policy over the last couple of decades. You know, the foreign policy that's been a complete disaster, you know, that has us in all these messes in the first place, has the whole world hating us. How many of these morons, you know, that killed a million babies in Iraq, I guess, when you add up all the dysentery and everything else, and who knows what kind of horrors in Africa and everything else, because they can't apparently talk to anybody in the fucking world, all these advisors. So anyway, they're having a battle about who has the most support from these idiots. So isn't that an interesting contest? Who has the most idiots who support them? So apparently Hillary's in the lead, even though Obama's claiming leadership. Ugh, assholes. All right, uh, yeah, in the big important news story, uh, Chuck Norris is pissed off because somebody has written a truth book and he says it ain't the truth. So, uh, he's going to take them to court, apparently, to prove that they're not truthing about him. So, I don't know what his, you know, I didn't read the story because I really couldn't care less what the book says Chuck Norris did or didn't do. Uh, he's a jerk, right? So, what, what else do I need to know? Uh, so, what the hell is this thing? Pill Mill Doctor. So, apparently, another story that's really big news is that there's some doctor who, you know, four people died from overdose because he gave out too much medication, and uh, they're not letting him out on bail, and so that's the big story, because he's a flight risk, you know, him and his wife. It really, I don't know if that's a story. I mean, maybe the pill story is a story, but the fact that he's not going to be let out on bail, I mean, I don't know if it's a story, but it's like, you know, only four stories ahead of it. Really low news day, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's look at the fifth story. But Valerie Bertinelli and Van Halen have finalized their divorce after seven years of separation. Really interesting news, right? I mean, I needed to know. I think. 
I mean, maybe they're going. Some of them's going to get married now. Maybe that's why they're finally getting divorced. It's kind of like that Greg Norman and uh, that tennis player, whatever her name is. You know, they got married. Uh, you know, but they just had to get divorces to get married. So you got to get divorced so you can get married so you can get divorced again. So that's sort of how it works, I guess. Uh, okay. So then there's this story about a dog. You know, I guess it was like a, a bomb dog of some kind, or a body dog. And, and so there was a soldier, I guess, over in Iraq, and he got blowed up. And apparently the dog survived the, the blowing up. And so the family has adopted the dog. And so that's it's one of those feel-good kind of Christmas stories that, uh, you know, instead of your son coming home, his dog comes home. And so, uh, you know, sometimes dogs are better than actually people anyway. So maybe the dog will, you know, be a good replacement. Uh, might get in less trouble, you know. Uh, probably isn't going to go through any of that, you know, army man craziness syndrome or something, you know, and go hack anybody to pieces or anything. So, you know, it might be a good news story. So, anyway, I mean, I really don't like these military people, you know what I'm saying? They're not drafted. They're over there voluntarily. They didn't, you know, anybody who's been alive for the last 20 years knows that we've been fighting these stupid wars. And so if you volunteer, you've got to know you're going to fight in stupid wars. So I, I really can't have too much sympathy for you because we wouldn't have the stupid wars if one people willing to volunteer to do the stupid war killing for us. So I really don't have a whole lot of empathy for the um, warriors. Uh, what the hell is this story? True, true, true. Something stabbed. Oh yeah, I guess in some Wyoming or something, uh, a woman stabbed her husband for or boyfriend or whatever because he opened a Christmas present early. And so it's a news story. See, it's around Christmas, so we got to have these happy little Christmas stories that have to be thrown in there. <sighs> you know, world's going to come to an end. We got a nine trillion dollar deficit. Uh, peak oil going to fall right over the peak oil cliff any minute now. Um, disaster coming any second just really you know the hordes from the city is going to eat us all we're all going to be doomed zombies everywhere and this is the news this is the stories in the in the news uh, so then there was more on this uh, this girl and her boyfriend who killed their killed the girl's half-sister or whatever because they were acting out the uh, video game death march 10 or whatever the hell it is I don't know what the fuck game it was I don't remember final death victory holocaust or something um, so anyway, you know, Stu, I mean, what, what is this? I mean, these people shouldn't be, I mean, people who have to act out video games. I mean, that's just, that's really lame. <clears throat> I mean, the whole idea of having the virtual thing is so you can do it virtually, not so you do it in reality. So I guess they really ought to have a suicide game that they give people first and let them, you know, so if they, you know, be like a test market. So if you're going to end up playing a video game and then trying to turn it into reality that the only reality you turn into is your own self-destruction because you're a fucking moron so maybe they ought to like mandatorily f or put a free copy of you know blow your brains out the video game uh, package that with all violent video games just so people kill themselves before they kill somebody else uh, well whatever it's just a suggestion it's you know sure <sighs> And uh, Joe Biden might come in third in Iowa, you know, in the, uh, in the, uh, whatever you call that, primary thing for the Democratic nomination. And I sort of don't hate him. I mean, of the people running, I don't hate that guy as much as I hate the other ones. Uh, but, you know, he does this. He is a sellout. I mean, he does, oh, yes, uh, faith is very important in my life. And you know, he's just lying. You know, he's just saying this shit, you know, because he knows he has to say it to get elected. And it's just so disappointing that people just can't they just can't force themselves you know to commit to the truth they just you know they know the political game and they just go ahead and play it and it's just disappointing but you know they all do it so you're stuck with no nobody to vote for you know it's all bad or worse or horrible or disgusting and uh, you know our two girls one cup I mean it's you know it's all in there and you got really really bad choices so that's it. Um, yeah, having a little trouble with the old quit uh, smoking thing. Even though the Amazing Atheist says it's just uh, you know the same as a food addiction. I'm you know the nicotine thing. Getting over it. It's a little tough. So, but so far uh, I think I'll think I'll make it um, down to like two or three a day now, and, and we'll see see how it goes. And uh, that's it. Nothing else to add. 
Sorry, I, I'm you know I'm just I am a little distracted by the lack of um, that's all I can do. See, I can't the words won't come out of my mouth, so all I do is like the.